hello everyone i hope you are doing well welcome to today's video today i'll be showing you how to use the sperry gyro pilot in the dc3 so somewhere along the way uh, the autopilot functionality sorry the gyro pilot functionality of this aircraft changed earlier it used to be simple so you used to press this knob uh, to hold the heading and this one to hold the pitch but uh, they made it more realistic but it created a lot of confusion uh, among the community because uh, there was no clear instruction on how to actually use this because uh, it uh, changed significantly uh, compared to what it was previously so i'll just show you how to you know use it now uh, in the current state so this peri gyro pilot is not an autopilot it is just uh, uh, there to hold the heading and the pitch of the aircraft it does not uh, follow a specified route so you have to monitor the route that you are following and tell the aircraft to you know f uh, follow that route uh, manually it won't follow it like uh, how we how it is in boeing 737 for example so it has two windows as you can see over here this is the heading uh, display and this is the uh, pitch aircraft pitch display and uh, the rudder knob over here is used to select the desired heading and the aileron knob is actually uh, used to tell the aircraft to pitch sorry uh, to roll towards the desired heading so by just selecting this heading the aircraft won't do anything you have to actually tell it to you know roll towards the heading that you have selected and then only it will turn so there is a major difference over here and this is the elevator knob which is used to control the pitch of the aircraft so as you can see this is the horizon line and you move it up or down to um, manage the pitch of the aircraft and this uh, climb rate indicator will move accordingly so this is this display is not uh, since the aircraft is currently powered off uh, it is not so showing up properly but once we power it on it will change to how it is actually used to be uh, how it is actually supposed to be so as you can see the two dots over here this is the center line uh, which means the roll rate is neutral and you move it to left or right direction to tell the aircraft to move in that direction but there are some peculiar peculiarities which i'll show once we are in the air so let me power off the power up the aircraft and uh, will show uh, the prerequisite to use the autopilot so we have powered up the aircraft and just to make it a little bit easier we'll uh, move the desired heading and the actual heading uh, will match those so that the aircraft you know there is a general rule we follow while flying to you know avoid any un unexpected changes uh, and i forgot to mention that the lower uh, actual heading which is indicated uh, for the aircraft can be changed with this uh, gyro knob over here but don't use it during normal operation because it is only used to correct uh, the gyro drift uh, that is a whole another topic but what you do is basically uh, match the magnetic compass and this uh, actual heading of the heading indicator of the aircraft and if there is there is any discrepancy with the magnetic compass you change it according to the magnetic compass so yeah let's get airborne and i'll show you how to actually use oh yeah before i forget uh, once you start the aircraft uh, you have to power on the gyro pilot so i have already done that here but uh, will show you how it will be for you so once you power up the aircraft move this knob forward counterclockwise as you see, saw here and most importantly move this uh, blue lever to forward position like this So once you are airborne, make sure you are at a safe altitude before engaging this because it requires some work. Uh, so what you do is basically 
to power up the gyro pilot you click here and you can see the gyro pilot power uh, indicator will light up then uh, first i'll show you how to control the pitch of the aircraft so that it's stable and we don't crash <laughs> so you move the elevator knob up uh, rotate it you know this indicator the white oblong uh, box over here you move it up to make the aircraft climb and you bring it to a neutral position and the aircraft will maintain a stable uh, attitude and if you move it downward it will you know descend so you have to play around with it to find the, the neutral spot if you want to do level flight so you can you know based on how the wind is how the what the speed of the aircraft is and all the pitch indicator will work differently uh, the pitch con elevator control will work differently so as you can see i just uh, removed the flaps and uh, it jumped down so just play around with it and uh, you know for level flight move it to a neutral position and it will hold that pitch now coming on to the adding uh, hold function so suppose i want to turn to 060 uh, heading and current as you can see if even if i move the rudder knob it won't do anything to tell the aircraft to actually pitch uh, roll towards the desired heading you have to move the aileron uh, over here aileron knob over here and as you can see the aircraft is turning and as you can see the aircraft is turning over here as well towards the desired heading so once the aircraft uh, has turned towards the desired heading it will neutralize itself and come to a neutral roll uh, angle and uh, it will follow that heading so again uh, if i want to turn further i'll select that heading over here and also select the bank angle and it will follow that you have to monitor this and make sure that uh, you are in the correct heading at all times and because it won't follow the gps path or anything so uh, that that is basically it hope you found it useful uh, do let me know if you have any more doubts uh, in the comment section or if you like the video please like it and again thank you for watching